So this video is about multiplying and dividing thirds. So before we continue, we should look at the rules. So you can see multiplication rules here. Root A times root B will give you root AB. C root A means a number outside the root. And D root B, another number outside the root, and then root B. So the numbers outside will be, will be multiplied together, and the number under the roots will be multiplied together, and then obviously you have to simplify it. Same thing goes with division. So a root, root a divided by root b will be a over b under root. Same thing with, with division of uh, if you have a whole number outside the root. So c and d, so you'll divide c with d, and you write them as a fraction, same thing. And same thing you'll do with a and b, a over b under root. So if there is any number outside the root, you will you can just multiply it together and you can divide them together. And the numbers in the root, you can bring them together. Okay, so these are the rules. Let's look at some examples now. Okay, so if you see here root 2 times root 18, it will look something like this. 2 times 18. 2 times 18 gives you 36. Let's do this prime factorization of 36. 2 times 18, 2 times 9, and 3 times 3. We got, we got 2, 2, 3, 3. So you can see we got a group of 2 and we got a group of 3. So from a group of 2, 1, 2 will come out. And from the group of 3, a 3 will come out. And there is nothing left under the root sign. There is nothing left under it. So a group of 2, a group of 3 is gone. Only 2 and 3 came outside. So 2 times 3 will give you 6. The answer is just 6. Are you getting my point, everyone? Okay, let's see the next one. 6 times 6. It's actually 6 times 6 and it's already a group so a 6 will come outside and the root is gone let's see this one 2 times 3 times 18 so 2 and 3 are already prime we need to we need to uh, factorize 18 we see the 18 factors are here so factors of 18 are 2 3 and 3 so I can write 18 as 18 as 2, 3, and 3, right? So let's see the groups now. We have a group of 2, yeah? And we have a group of 3. So from this group of 2, a 2 will come out. From the group of 3, a 3 will come out. And what's left inside is a 3. So 2 times 3 can be written as 6. The answer is 6 root 3. See the next one. 5 times 3. 5 is already a prime number. 3 is already a prime number. I will not break it anymore. 15. So 15 will be 3 times 5. So 3 and 5. Now what we see, we got a group of 3. A 3 will come out. A group of 5. A 5 will come out. And I think there is nothing left to be inside. So the answer is just 15 without root sign. Now let's see this one. 2 and 3 are like C and D we saw in the formula. 2 and 3 are outside. So we just multiply them directly. 2 times 3 is 6. And 8 and 5 will go inside the root, under the root. So 5 and 8, I'll factorize 8. So 8 will be 2 times 4. 2 times 2, so it's 2, 2, 2. Instead of 8, I'll write 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. I got a group of 2. I think there is no other group. So it's just a 2 outside. And I already have a 6 outside. So it's 6 times 2. Inside we have 5 multiplied 2 and 10. So 6 times 2 can be written as 12. So it's 12 under root 10. And then the last one. Let's see the last one. 2 multiplied by 2 will give you 4. And inside the root you have a 
a six times six, which is a group of six. So which out of which a six will come out. So four will have a six. And there is nothing left inside the root. So there is no more root. So four times six is 24. Okay, let's move on to some other questions. So let's do some division now. As you have seen in the rules before, root A dividing root B will be root A over B. So here it's 12 divided by 13 will be, I think it's not 12, it's 3. 3. Okay, so root 12 divided by root 3 should look something like this. Yeah. And 12 divided by 3 will be will be 4 it's root 4 can we factorize 4 yes we can 4 will be because it's not a prime number obviously we can 4 will be 2 times 2 and now I can see it's a group of 2 out of a group of 2 a 2 will come out and there is nothing left inside the answer is just 2 let's see the next one 15 over 3 so this one will be a root 5 because 3 times 15, 3 times 1, and 3 times 15 is just 5. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 is a prime number. We cannot factorize it. So that's the answer. Root 5 it will stay like this. Now here we can see 12 and 3. These two numbers are outside the root. So we'll just divide them normally. 12 over 3. And then we have it have a root. And in, under the root, we will have 40 divided by 8. So let's do this. 12 divided by 3 is 4 then root 40 divided by 8 is 5 4 root 5 we cannot factorize the 5 anymore it will stay 5 only because it's a prime number you cannot factorize prime number anymore if you factorize prime number it will give you 1 times 5 stay it will stay 5 you know you can't factorize it anymore because 1 is not a prime number so let's do the next one 12 divided by 6 12 over 6 root 50 divided by 8 so 12 divided by 6 will be 2 58 let's simplify it uh, 4 times uh, sorry 2 times 4 2 times 25 I think this is it you can't simplify it anymore so it will stay root 25 over 4 or you can say it will be 2 root 25 over root 4 yes root 4 can we factorize it let's see 2 25 can be factorized as 5 times 5 and 4 can be factorized as 2 times 2 so this is a group of 5 a 5 will come out so it will be 2 times 5 and a group of 2 a 2 will come out over 2 so it's 10 over 2 10 over 2 will be simplified as 2 times 1 and 2 times 5 the answer is just 5 it's just 5 now let's see this one 25 root 6 divided by 5 so first we'll divide 25 by 5 so it will be 25 over 5 and then 6 over 6 so 25 divided by 5 is 5 6 divided by 6 is 1 root 1 root 1 is actually 1 times 1 so 1 is out so it's 5 times 1 which is just 5 the answer is 5 let's, so let's do some last type of example these are mixed problems with multiplication and division okay so first we will solve multiplication this much part of it four here we have nothing so if there's nothing consider it's one four times one will be four root two times root three will look something like this root two times three so two times three is actually six divide by two root two now it's just division so four divide by two will be two and under the root you will have 6 divided by 2 which is uh, a 3 and 3 is actually a prime number you cannot factorize it anymore 
this one so first we multiply 2 with 3 we'll get a 6 then we multiply 8 with 2 we'll get a 16 and then we have to divide it by 2 root 8 let's do the division thing 6 divided by 2 is 3 16 divided by 8 is 2 so it's 3 root 2 okay let's see the next question 8 times 2 is 16 yeah and 2 times 18 will be root 36 divide by 4 root 3 let's continue 4 divide 16 divided by 4 is 4 36 divided by 3 will go under the root 36 divided by 3 is 12 can we factorize 12 because it's not a prime number yes we can so 12 can be written as 4 will be outside 12 can be written as 2 times 2 times 3 and I see a group of 2 so this 2 will come out so 4 will stay 4 will, will become 4 times a 2 which came out from here and inside we have a 3 4 times 2 can be written as 8 so it's 8 root 3 the final answer I hope you all are getting it uh, in case if you want to know anything else you can write me in the comments have a nice day